Hello and welcome to the Freelance Festival, where each week we meet new business owners who share their expertise on how to run a successful business. This week we're talking events, how you can use events to grow your business, how to promote your upcoming event, and some of the things you need to consider before you get started. Yeah, so hi, I'm Ray, I'm on the Richardson, um, and I run a boutique event marketing um, agency in Reading. And we help our clients with event communication and promotion needs, um, helping uh, businesses to get the most out of their events is our motto. And essentially, whether you want to grow your audience or um, get more bums on seats, or uh, bring repeat revenue to your business, um, we give you the strategy and also help you to make it happen. Uh, our clients are brilliant at coming up with event ideas. Um, you know, they they have a great, um, they know the value of B2B events and um, they, they sort of deliver great experiences and transformations to their clients. But getting people through the door, um, whether in person or virtually, is something that they struggle with. Uh, and so we help them to really maximize on the promotion opportunities that events really present so to make sure that you know all the energy and love that they put into um, running the event um, actually gets noticed and, and the right people are in the room. So the, the benefits of running events, uh, workshops um, or, or webinars um, specifically, is, is really the, mainly the, the connection that you can have with your audience really goes beyond any kind of social media or, or other one-to-many um, channels, ways of communicating. Um, and, and the connection that you can make, the, the value that you can bring, the, the way you can showcase your business and, and your experience um, by either educating them or, or you know, opening up for networking or whatever it is, the style of event that you're running. Um, that's, that's the main benefit really. Um, it, it helps your audience see who you are. It, it helps you show off and showcase the best bits of you and working with you. And, and yeah, so events are very powerful for growing your business. So the things that you bear in mind is whatever you put into it will show. So if you're if you're just going to run an event without really planning or thinking it through, why you're doing it, what's the key focus there, it's it potentially could lose its focus and, and result in the experience at the end of the day that your audience will have will have an impact on that. Um, Whereas if you really focus on the event and what it is that you're trying to get out of it, what is in it for your business, what is in it for your audience, why are you doing it? Um, asking those questions beforehand before you really set out on, you know, whatever the investment is going to be that you're going to make there. Um, it's going to help you deliver the experience that you're hoping to, to give you to your audience. So I've got five top tips that I usually help my clients with, to, at least to start off with um, from where they are. And they're actually all free um, sort of resources that anyone has access to. And the very first one is having a, an information page or a landing page of your event. And that's um, somewhere where you not only talk about the how and the why and, and the where and when, um, but specifically actually focusing on the why. Um, talking about why your event is important, what it is that's going to um, be the transformation to your audience, what is in it for the audience and why should they attend. Another another thing you can you need to um, cover when or think about when you're creating a sales page is uh, whether you want it on a standalone website, a microsite or, or you know use a, a sort of an event search engine like Eventbrite for example. Um, and, and essentially host the, the information page on that. The reason for that is when you have a dedicated page for your event, then it makes it really easy for you to share it on the different platforms, make sure that you're getting the visit numbers captured um, from your audience, you know, when you, when you link it through uh, to wherever they need to go to book their place or reserve their spot. Uh, so the second tip that I give to my clients is not forgetting the 
Um, the holy grail of today's business world really is the use of social media for your business. Um, the importance of this cannot be underestimated in, in whatever size you're in. Um, and using social media, everyone has access to that. You, you do need to know where your target audience hang out though, because it's no, not a lot of use in being on LinkedIn if your audience is on Facebook and vice versa. Um, so really focus on who you're talking to, who is your ideal client, and make sure that you talk about your event and the value and the how and the why um, on social. Um, tool number three is use of video content. Now, everyone knows that video is a very powerful tool. Uh, anyway, everyone's got a phone. It does not have to be a polished article if you don't, you know, if you don't have the budget or, or you can't um, invest in something like that. Um, but having video content as well as, you know, blogging or, or any kind of, um, you know, PR or anything else that you might use, emails, um, video content is really important because as a presenter, as an as a educator, for example, if you are educating your audience, it's important for you to be in front of the camera um, and, and let your audience see who you are, how you present your content, what kind of content you um, share with them, and it, it kind of lets them get to know you on a different level. So tool number four, the, the free promotional tool that you have access to um, or anyone has access to is actually email and use of email um, is really crucial when you're promoting your event and trying to get exposure for it. It's a brilliant way to build um, momentum, create that buzz around it, uh, what, what the experience is, what kind of, you know, whether it's um, sharing what you're going to be talking about, sharing a sneak peek of something, backstage view or something, share that in your email um, and create, having an email um, list in the first place, doesn't matter how small it is, as long as you start one, um, it's important to use email um, for communicating to your audience about what, you, what your event is going to deliver. And even at the end, uh, as well, using email as a follow-up, you know, even a simple thank you, showing off the event highlights, anything like that. Email is super, super powerful. And it um, is, is essentially a one-to-one -one, um, communication tool with your audience rather than a one-to-many as it is on social. The final uh, tip uh, that I um, ask my audience to, um, to consider when they're promoting their event is a social proof. And what that essentially means is testimonials or feedback from whether it's um, past events or just simply working with you uh, as a business. So simply showing off, um, you know, how you work with someone or having feedback for a past um, service or product that you've created for them um, is, is, is enough as a social proof, essentially. It's, it's showcasing who you are, showcasing your personality and your values. It's, it's so easy to do and it's important to accumulate the different um, feedback that you get, whether it's a text message or an email or, or something on social. Um, obviously, you've got to bear in mind if it's an email or a personal text message, then there's the privacy side of things. So just make sure that you ask um, your client that they're okay and happy for you to share it publicly. If, if it's being shared in a comment on social media, then essentially it's in the public domain. So it's already been publicized uh, and, and you don't necessarily need to seek um, the sort of the permission to share. But social proof, um, whether it's um, yeah sharing the past experience of an event or just past um, times that someone's worked with you is key. And it's totally free. There is loads of ways to measure an event success and that's where actually having your strategy and your goal before you set out on, on the creation of your event experience um, is really key because looking back then after your event is, is finished, um, looking back whether those goals have been achieved is, is crucial um, whether to, to decide whether you're going to run the event again or whether something needs tweaking. So, um, so definitely there's loads of ways to measure um, from visits to your website, to the growth of audience on your social channels, to um, the number of people that come through the door, whether it's Zoom room or, or in person. Um, the, the key that we focus on with our clients is actually fully booked events is, is something that we strive for, but it's not necessarily with 
just anyone. It has to be the right people in the room to make the event a success. Uh, and only when your ideal clients are in there with you experiencing what you've got to offer and, and really getting the best um, experience that, that you put in front of them or put out for them is, is where you're going to get the results that you want. Thanks for watching this week's video. We hope you found it useful. To get in touch with this week's guest, you can find their details in the video description below. And don't forget to give them a like. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos from other business owners sharing their expertise and top tips. See you soon.